Hello, Paul here, and uh, thank you so much for joining me. I did get cut on my lip thanks to Racquetball Racket, but speaking of cuts, I'm going to show you how you can take some simple objects, slice them up to make something very complex, and then from there, take it to the next level with pro tips to make a whole collage or pattern of butterflies or really any element that you want. First, draw some shapes and then slice it up using the knife tool. Keep in mind, it has to be a closed shape in order to slice it. Then use your direct selection tool to select each object and round the corners to curve it nicely, shrink it down in size so we can make the inside of that wing. From there, you can give it some color and then an inside stroke or two. Then go to Object, Repeat, Mirror to mirror that one wing to make the second one. Then draw the body and you're done with your butterfly. From there, we will take this butterfly, we'll drag it into our brushes panel and we will make a scatter brush. In the options for the scatter brush, we wanna change everything to random and adjust those sliders to your liking. From there, we can make many butterflies, but they all have one basic shape. So we need to go ahead and duplicate the first one and then modify the angles to make a secondary butterfly of the same type. If you duplicate that first brush in your brushes panel, you can then hold down the option key and drag that second butterfly on top of that second brush that you duplicated to replace it. That will retain all of the lovely settings that you defined earlier. We can make a third butterfly by just distorting the wings and then changing the color under edit colors. For our final butterfly, we could actually paint using the blob brush as well as additional strokes and then of course distorting and recoloring to make something even more unique. Also in scatterbrush options, you can do a hue shift to shift all the colors of the butterfly to whatever color you have for your line stroke. And that all started with two basic shapes that I cut up, uh, changed the colors for, made some scatter brushes, took that to the next level. Hopefully you appreciated watching this. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hit like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. More importantly, let's keep in touch and let me know what you create. Thanks so much for watching.